Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is Christelle Martinet. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful November and I'm here with a reading for the second half from the 16th to the 30th. And we'll be going first with Aries, then onward on to Pisces. But first of all, I'd like to take a look at the celestial interlude and what's going on in the universe. Let's see if my um, computer works out well. First, you see that we have the 17th and the 18th, be the night between the 17th and the 18th of November, we're going to have um, a meteor shower and it's called the Leonid's meteor shower. And um, it will be fairly generous. There will be one per hour. So you'll be able to get a brief show. And if you're there for the moment, then we have this very interesting um, Jupiter conjuncts uh, the galactic center. And what's interesting about this, it lasts from the 19th to the 23rd, and it favors a shift in consciousness. And this is really, really, really important. Um, this will affect all of us um, at our root chakra and um, kundal uh, kundali, uh, Kundalini energy. And they say, everyone says it's a good moment for um, for meditation for those of you who meditate and for deep breathing work, uh, deep breath work. Um, and uh, what it allows us is to literally make shift in the way we think and way we see about if we see things. Um, if you can connect while you are meditating to the ground, sitting uh, literally on the ground, and it offers us the moment to open up our perspective. This is why it's so, so important. Then we have here, I jumped ahead too far. Then we have here um, the 20th of November when Mercury finally goes direct. Amen. Amen. Of course, there's shadows left and right and everyone, you know, you're never out of Mercury. <laughs> and of course, everyone, uh, there are many people who have written to me and saying, said, oh, you know, it doesn't affect us so much. And well, it depends. I've been affected quite a bit in this past, um, these past three, four, five weeks, actually. Um, and it is goes direct in the sign of Scorpio. What's interesting about this is it, Scorpio is all about keeping secrets and being secretive. So what we're going to see when it goes direct is that secrets will emerge. Truths will emerge. You may not get the answers to all the secrets, but that is characteristic of this, um, this period, this uh, day, 20th of November, when it goes um, direct. Then we've got on the 25th of November, we have a conjunction between um, the moon and Mercury. And you can see it right when you wake up before early, early, very early before sunrise, there's a close encounter between the moon and Mercury exactly at about, exactly at about, at about um, 3.30 a.m. For those of you who cannot see it, you can try again before the sun comes up. You should be able to see that at about 6.30 a.m. Um, then we have the 26th of November, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. And this moon is such an interesting moon for all of us, apart from the fact that it is a new moon. So we begin projects, we begin things, but this, new moon offers us offers us to see the bigger picture it allows us to see the forest and the trees so to speak and our last here we have the on the 28th of november is um, the best morning to see mercury mark that on your calendar it will be very 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 interesting so let's go on to aries there we are there we are, Aries friends. I have with me, um, see that crazy, this crazy all colors. I couldn't decide. I wanted to try out different colors and I needed to look at what they looked like. That's why I have all of these different colors. Now, Aries, what's in store for you? I'm using the Necromonia, the Necromonicon tarot. What's in store for Aries? From the ninth, from the 16th to the 30th. What's in store for Aries? From the 16th, there's one there. 
There you go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. One more card. Let's see. One more card. And there you go. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what these cards look like. We have here, um, I, sh I hope you can see that. That is the Empress. There's a slight glare. The Empress. I have the three of cups. I've got the six of cups. The five of cups. And the page of coins. You know, Aries, it's quite um, particular for me to see the empress at work for you here. The empress at work and see one, three, five. These three cards, the middle, the sides of the entrance and the outgoing card, where there's the six of cups as a uh, focus card. It seems that many of you Aries will have the opportunity to go back to a place where you grew up or go back to a place that you have old friends or go back and, and see friends. Either they'll come and visit you or you will go and visit them. Um, there will be people who mean a lot to you. And I don't necessarily have to say, you know, your first love. But what I'm looking at here is a return to a moment when there was more innocence. You were probably younger. It, it was, in any case, the past. And um, what's interesting about this is that you can make of that moment a very um, important one because you'll be able to use it for your future in order for you to understand, spiritually understand. It will give you the key, the spiritual key to understand many things. Now, there is uh, this beautiful three of cups, and that is, you know, there are two threes. There's the three of the empress and the three of cups that are, um, that is a lovely uh, celebratory card, but there is this five of cups. And I'm going to take a look at that to see what that is all about. Well, okay, look, we've got um, this situation. We've got the dottore, the doctor. We've got Morte, the death card. And then we've got Speranza, the hope card. It looks like to me that you will be going somewhere. You will be going somewhere, but there, there is someone left behind. And who you're leaving behind is going to have quite a bit of difficulty during the period that you're not around usually. And they can only hope, I'm talking about them, they can only hope that this trip for you, this, you know, even if it's not a, a, a fully blown trip, you take a plane, you take a train, you take your car, but even if you are um, doing a course, something that will improve your development, something that is a lesson for you, something is that is a form of teaching for you, that is going to be experienced as a journey. And they, the persons that you are leaving behind, he, she, or them, are going to hope that when you return, things will be, will work in their favor. Here I have the runes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there is. This is Bjork Berkan. It does talk about a beginning. That um, this is a beginning of consciousness. There's a new, new consciousness that is going to affect the person or persons you leave behind. Um, Pedro here affords both of you um, a telepathic, um, direct communication, which is very, very interesting. And um, I have to say that. It's this moment, right? This is Fehu Merck's Dave. It's not, it's not the best moment for you financially. As a matter of fact, this may be the all-time low for the year of 2019 for you. But it's a time when you can think about it. Um, this is a, the rune is needed. And it's telling you, you know, use this moment because this is a moment that you should meditate on 
why that is. Is this here? Is this happening, this low time um, uh, economic period, this low, low financial income? Is it here because there are other things that are more important? It's, it's right over the celebratory card. And the response comes in part with Yera. Yera beats time. And Yera beats time in the sense that this is a beginning of a trend that will see you concentrating more on things that are not directly money-oriented. They will be love, your health in primis. Now, I really do hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, Aries friends. Do like, share, and subscribe my video, as I would love that. Give a shout out, send it around, share, share, share. Now, let's go on to Taurus. Taurus, let's see what's in store for you, Taurus. Let's see what's in store for you, Taurus, for the month of November, the second half. There you go. Let's see. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. The second half of, there you go. And here you have them five cards here you have them interesting interesting look i've got here the page of cups i have the devil here and i'm going to take another card from under the deck and show you that card which is the four of coins eight of swords the fool card and the six of swords look you know uh, we do have two major arcana here and the period looks like it is extremely important for you taurus um and I have to say, the only card that I really don't like, the only uh, odd man out is this Eight of Swords that I don't like the looks of, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. Why is that Eight of Swords right there? What kind of message is that Eight of Swords intending for us? What is that Eight of Swords? Take a look at this, which is quite different from the um, other decks, Universal decks, the uh, Rider Waite. Look at this card with that third eye, um, nefarious looking character there, which is trapping a, a person. So you are, this is the, the meaning, underlying meaning relates to being trapped. Let's take a look at this and what it's all about. Oh dear. All right, now let's see. We have the vidavo, the widower. We've got il nemico, the ne enemy. And we have Lamante, the lover. You know, it's, how can I say? It looks like to me, let me talk about the different categories. Taurus, if you have a um, full-time relationship, a live-in relationship, a very strong bond, there has been lately someone who has come on to you and they keep coming on to you they're you know knocking on your door there and you are in one way tempted but you will not go there you will not go there now that's one reading for those of you who are free there is a third party situation and you have cut off the relationship because your companion has uh, uh, shown you or you found out that there was a third party situation. Quite interesting this. I'm going to take um, a, a, a little look more here because what I'm looking at is a, um, a period, see this devil with the four of uh, coins here, it is a, uh, how can I say, you are in a phase where you want without the shadow of a doubt to make a, your name you want to make a mark for yourself you want to make a name for yourself you want to others to uh, you want to stand up and be counted you want other people to see what you're worth 
and it's almost an obsession. The page here tells you, look, Taurus, it's not that people don't see you. Au contraire, they do see you. You shouldn't be obsessing about that except for the situation with, you know, this romantic situation where there's a third party involved perhaps, or there is something that you may have broken off or you have not got, got interested in in the beginning. But that is sort of on the back burner. It is not the main issue in this two-week two period. But we do have the um, Fool card. And the Fool card is quite interesting for us to see because the Fool tells us, that there is a beginning and there is a new moon in this, um, we, as we saw the 26th of November. Let's take a look. Wow, we've got some other stuff here. Look at this. We've got the female enemy, Nemika. Then we've got Lies Falsita. And then we've got Riunione, the meeting. The reunion in, reali in reality, as if you go back and see someone from your past. These two cards are both negatives that negate each other. Now, you have seen both the male enemy and the female enemy come out. And it looks like to me that you have, if you are not partnered, please watch your back in terms of a female and a male because they are coming up strong. Around the new moon, especially around that, um, I believe it's the 26th. Beware of that. Now, there's this Six of Swords that I'd like to take a look at. This beautiful Six of Swords that tells you up, down, around, the, from December onwards, beautiful things are coming. Um, happiness in the heart. Allegrezza al cuore. Then we've got casa, the house. Prigione, prison. Someone's might be getting married. Someone might be getting engaged and getting married, it looks like. Or they have decided, you have decided, Taurus, to settle down in some way. In your mind, it could even be a business settlement. You could even decide to stay where you are. Let's take a look at the runes, what they have to add. Let's see what they have to add. Hmm. We've got the nameless, faceless rune here, weird. And this is very propitious for you, uh, Taurus, because it tells you that you will not have to be the yes woman or yes man during the period of um, 16th to the 30th, because you are um, in, a, uh, in a moment of grace whereby, and you know this, because Pedro is there, you know this, that money will be coming to you, a raise will be coming to you, you will be offered a, um, a professional break, you may be offered a career uh, boost. This Fehu is a incoming financial, especially, I'm seeing it as financial, look, again, around that new moon, expect something to occur in relation to your work or activities. Fehu is, um, sorry, Anzus is here. Anzus is here to tell me that you need to speak to the powers that be. You need to speak to people. <laughs> you need to speak to persons of, um, to the powers that be, people who count in certain respects. And what I'm looking at is Dieg, and Dieg is a gift. Dieg is a karmic gift. Tar um, Dayeg uh, talks about a karmic period and it's in relation to the emotional uh, situation, to the relationships that you have. Remember that I said that this was on the back burner, but for those of you where there are uh, people on your workplace or on the job for which you need to look, you need to watch your back, um, this is a karmic pattern and you'll find that that will be happening every so often but we've got a watts and a watts tells you don't worry because the month is fine you the month those two weeks the universe does have your back indeed now uh hagal hagalas what does it tell you it's the key to understanding this four of coins on top of that devil 
You are, like I said, you're obsessive with your position, with your worth and all of that. Hagal Hagalas tells us that you need to do a bit of healing in terms of your self-confidence, who you are, what you want out of life, what am I doing, where am I going? Just every now and then stop and think and give thanks. This is all about giving thanks. Taurus, I do hope this was of help to you. Like, share, subscribe my videos. I'd appreciate that. S subscribe to my videos and share them. Let everybody know who I am. Everybody know who I am. Okay, so let's go down to Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, glad to read for you for this second half of the month of, excuse me, November. Let's see. Let's see what's in store for Gemini the second half of November, 16th to the 30th of November. 16th to the 30th of November. 16th to the 30th. There you go. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four. And let's see what's coming up. One more. Oh. Let's take it from the bottom of the deck this time. Okay. Let me show you these cards. I have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands. What an odd deck, huh? The Four of Wands. Oh, sorry. The f let me, where am I showing you? The Four of Wands. The Page of Swords. The Queen of Cups. The Moon card the moon card the moon card all right now let me take a look look gemini there are messages coming in that you have been expecting and a few of you know there are people out there that are involved with a water sign which is cancer scorpio or pisces I'm seeing a beautiful yes here, a, a beautiful success as the period uh, we're, we're reading. I'm reading, I think it's today, the 16th, actually. Um, this marks a moment where you have uh, someone who's told you yes, someone who said yes to you, someone who's given you the idea and the notion, and you know that you have been successful. This is a period very successful period, both in terms of your stability. For those of you who are looking for a new home, this is the moment to go looking. This is the moment where you will find what you're looking for. Also, as I said, truth emerges. And there is this, um, oh, did I show you? The, no, I didn't. I didn't show you all of them, did I? Um, did I show you the Queen of Cups? Oh, I must be sleeping. The Queen of Ca uh, Cups? Did I show you that page? Page of Swords. And the last card is the Moon card. I didn't, I don't think I did. Maybe my, my mind is <laughs> crazy. Okay, so we have Six of Wands, Four of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon card. Let me take a look, first of all, at this Moon. Because the Moon is a, a, a card that's so difficult to plumb, as they say. It's a card that um, hides things at times. So what we want to do is go and see what is being hidden. Let's take a look and see what is being hidden. Well, these came out, so I'll bring those. And then this. Let's see. There's malinconia, melancholy. Amatrice, the lover. And fortuna, fortune. It looks like to me, I mean, there's this fortune, fortune and the winning. You know, there's a very lucky period for you, Gemini, here. Lucky in love, but it looks like you're looking back at a situation, but it is that looking back that is going to bring you something new in your life. Now, um, there, this smacks of changes, Gemini. And when you least, not that when you least expect it, this may even happen around that new moon. What I'm looking at here is a, a new person 
that crosses your path exactly when you become nostalgic, sad for the times that were the person who's no longer with you, the person who you split from, people that you grew up with. And that's when another person crosses your path. Very interesting this. And it looks like this new moon uh, period is the period that is most propitious for that. As I said, and I probably did already, you may have a water sign in your life, the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I'm going to take a look at this page of swords, the focus card here. There's a bit of a lag with my um, second camera here, and I've tried to fix that, but what can I say? Let's see. We've got so speedy, the sighing, waiting and sighing. Then we've got allegrezza al cuore, happiness in the heart. And then amica, a friend. This talks of harmony and it does, you know, it looks like to me, Gemini, that emotionally speaking in the period, the second two weeks of November, you will be prone all right, I could say it that way. You will be prone to perhaps tending toward a bit of sadness. All right, a bit of depression, thinking there maybe it's a, an anniversary of some sort. Maybe it is a moment when you remember and so and so and so and so and so on and so forth. But like I said, that seems to be the prelude for a new entry or a new um, something that emerges and it looks like a new truth emerges and it really does. For those of you who are purchasing a house, this is the moment but that this period ushers in this whole weekend is, is announcing a success for you. So remember the announcement and try not to fall prey to that bit of nostalgia and melancholy. Let's take the runes and take a look at those. Um, ah, yeah, there's the success. success. Okay, so we have need. Sorry, <laughs> we have need here. The rune need and the the rune um need here talks about the necessity for you to spend those five minutes and think about the persons who are no longer with you. Do feel that sadness. You will get out of it in a heartbeat. Then we have. Pedro, which is Merkstave, and this is telling me what happens to you during this period, you will not see coming. It will, it's going to hit you right in the head. You will not see it coming. You will be so, so surprised. And now we have Fehu. Fehu talks about economic gain, abundance, and the success brings abundance to you. Also, there's Fehu, I'm sorry, Anzus, which is Merkstave, and this talks about and the cowards are counseling you and the runes are counseling you to keep your ideas close to your vest. Do not overdo. If you, let's say you win a lottery, do not go shouting out to the hills. If you were in, immediately um, pr promoted, don't go telling everyone. But all in all, I this is crowned by uh, Soilo. Soilo does sm smack of success. You're getting this message twice here. Um, good for you. Bravo, Gemini. I do hope this was of help to you. Do like and share my videos. Subscribe to my videos. If this is your first time around, go look at what I do. Now, let me go on to two, 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 two. Who's in line? What did I do? Did I go... I've, oh, okay, let's go to Cancer, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. I heard, I saw a light go off. I hope I didn't, uh, uh, what did I do wrong here? I hope I didn't do anything. Everything looks like it's in place. All right, then let's see. Cancer from the 16th to the 30th. What's in store for you, Cancer, from the 16th to the 30th? The 16th to the 30th, Cancer, what's in store for you? 16th to the 30th, 16th to the 30th. Let's see what's in store for you. 16th to the 30th, 16th to the 30th, 16th to the 30th. Okay, ready? Cancer. Okay, so we have, first of all, we've got 
the strength card beautiful female energy strength then we've got the fool card good for you and then we've got the chariot my god we you're gonna rocketing off out into outer space and then oddly enough i mean how odd is this we've got the eight of swords and then the tower what is this all about what is this all about hold on this is um this is something that i've got to look at all right i've got it um i'm going to take from under the deck over the tower another card and this is the knight of coins the knight of coins now what surprises me of all of this First of all, you know, we have this weekend um, and the period is ushered in by this beautiful strength card and the beginning as if, you know, uh, the full card, as if you think, wow, this is a new breath of fresh air. I think I'm ready to make a change. All of you who are thinking of changing jobs, you've made the decision and you will be undergoing that. You will be enacting that, taking that decision. Then there is there are all, all of you who have decided, well, maybe I, I would like to ask that woman out or I would like to go out with that person. I don't know if I should. It's the time when action is going to take place. Um, not, and, and not only that, it looks like there will be many of you who will be changing homes, who will actually be moving. You've made... Um, a long-standing decision there was a, it's been on your mind for a long time and there will be many of you who will be actually moving but this eight of swords all of a sudden and the the the, the tower the tower of course the tower talks of um spirituality that has it, it, it's a, a spiritual awakening Right, with this knight of coins it's a spiritual awakening it's as if you're going to be hit around right this is an announcement i see this is an announcement this is not going to happen this eight of swords and the tower it looks like at the tail end of the month is when you ha take remember i said the uh, new moon the new moon is going to favor changing your perspectives um completely opening up your perspective that's going to start but it what does that do to you uh, cancer it challenges all your uh, fun fundamental beliefs and that's going to start a, right at the tail end of the month i'm going to uh, this eight of swords for you cancer wait let me <laughs> pull that out but i have to i've, I've had them all around <laughs> i was looking at them all right let me turn this around and then i've got that all right we've got the giovane fanciulla the young woman the maiden who is the virgin of the deck so this is absolutely something new that you may not be ready for this change in perspective is it's as if if you were a moody person all of a sudden you're going to be happy-go-lucky if you were a person who always was suspicious of other people you're going to open up completely completely it's an about face these cards are, are talking about an about face. Tail end of the month, the beginning of December. Happiness, alegria, and nemico, the enemy. And here it is, here it is. You open up. This is where you are start to open up. Very, very, it's so cool. I mean, this is so cool. It is really, really so cool. I, I mean, cancer, I it's... I, it's, a, it's an awakening. It is a real awakening. I'm going to take a look here. Wow. And it is all about a spiritual reawakening. It's an opening up your per spiritual perspective. Love, amore, and so speedy, sighing, finally. And the artista, the thinker, the artist. It looks like that is what is going to happen, Cancer. this They speak louder than words, these cards. And the uh, symbolic nature, uh, the archetypal nature of these major arcana are so so powerful you definitely are on a roll as the month begins my god okay 
as the month begins, as this period begins. Smooth Lagos Lagos, when this comes out, Bright Stay, it tells you, look, ladies and gentlemen, Cancer friends, smooth sailing. Do not fear. When that hits you, that new perspective, do not fear. Wunyo, the joy, it's ushering in joy. It's ushering in the success that joy will bring you. Awats talks about the universe having your back. Um, Need talks about you definitely having to take initiative. This is the moment when you take initiative. And we have Thury Sats Merck's Dave, and that tells us this is a period that perhaps like no other in the year of 2019, you will be, it's, it's as if it's a rite of passage, you're going to feel like an adolescent all over again, all of those problems in, of adolescence. And it's a necessary passage way for you, Cancer. I do hope this was of help to you, Cancer. Like and share my videos and subscribe if this is the first time that you are watching my channel. I'd appreciate that. All right, now let's go on to, where are you? Where are you? Leo. Leo, Leo friends. Leo friends. Let's see what's in store for you for the month of November, second half. Second half of the month of November. Second half of the month of November. Let's see what's in store for Leo for the second half of the month of November. Excuse me. Second half of the month of November. Second half of the month of November. Here we go. Les jeux sont faits, as they say. Ah, oh, nice, a nice, a nice, a nice, as they say. Look at this. We've got the high priestess. We have the ten of coins. We've got the page of swords. We have the six of swords. And we have the king of cups. Look, um, Leo, many of you, there are people of you who are involved with a water sign again here too. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Here too, the high priest, the high priest talks of the moon. The high priest does hide things just like the moon. The high priest is a um, water sign. It does point to water signs, the incoming and the outgoing card. Um, lovely Six of Swords that brings us to an emotional high towards the end of the month. And the Ten of Coins, which is an, an extremely beautiful, abundant card. Now, let me first focus on this Page of Swords and take a look at what it's trying to tell you. It bears messages for you. Let's see, Leo. Let's see. What is your pleasure? What's in store for Leo? What's in store for Leo? What's in store for Leo? Yeah, emerge. The truth emerges. Yeah, the truth does emerge. And it won't be an easy truth at that. Um, this is falsita, lies, and malinconia, melancholy, and donna di servizio, the housemaid. It looks like a truth emerges and it's not going to be a pretty truth, but it will bring you to understand the wider picture. As we said, the, um, the new moon in Sagittarius allows us to see the bigger picture, allows us to see the bigger picture. Look, let me go down to the High Priestess, the incoming card, to get a look at what exactly she's there to tell us. Yeah. Oh, it looks like somebody's getting married. We've got uh, Allegrezza al cuore, happiness in the heart, prigione, prison, and we have uh, pensieri, pensiero, thoughts. It looks like somebody is thinking of... Um, bringing someone else to the altar or going to the altar with someone else. There's an engagement. There may be a, or if this plays out in the workplace, it looks like you're pondering a project with a person that you haven't partnered with or that you know, but have not yet worked with. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to decide 
Leo, if you want to go the route of partnering, or if you want to go it alone, it looks like you have a choice here. But it also involves, well, of course, I just said about the marriage, the proposal, that is another reading of that. But um, there is definitely a water signs uh, here involved with you. Be they par a partner in a, a potential endeavor, a joint venture, be they a partner. I'm going to look at this uh, Six of Swords. To tell, let's see what that Six of Swords has to tell us. Let's see what that Six of Swords has to tell us. La, la, la. Let's see what that Six of Swords has to tell us. We've got Domestico, the house domestic. We've got La Matrice, the lover, and Legitza, the lightness of being. It looks like here that someone is, it, you know, it, this announces to me that um, you have undercover sex, okay? It looks like you um, have a, a bed relationship, a physical relationship with someone that is being hidden. You know, there's that's one reading of it. Or that it will be that you're discussing it now and it will be coming up. You're uh, uh, deciding on whether we can be friends with benefits but no, it's not going to go any more than this. We both, okay, there you may be married and both, you know, you and another person who you're interested in is as well married. And no, it's not going to go further than that. That's one reading. Here too, I also see um, that, that in any case, there is a female who could be you or could be someone else who has left behind the difficulties of her secrets, whether they are you or someone else. You've decided to make things public. Very interesting, this um, side to side meaning, this, this uh, you know, mirrored meaning. Very interesting. I'm going to look here at this King of Cups and I've got here Dispiacere, the tears, sadness, mercante merchant, and la riunione, the reunion. And it looks like to me that um, that water sign, those of you who are involved with the water sign, there may be difficulty in seeing them. And it has to do, you know, this story, it, it comes out to me as being a, um, a clandestine affair, an affair where you try to break away, for those of you who have something like this going on, but something hinders you from seeing each other in this period of time. Let me take the runes out. But other than that, it looks like um, the water sign can be someone from your workplace, actually. Let's see. Whoop. Well, 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 and work is successful for you with tear. Um, I do have this uh, a rune called need, and it does talk of a, a, a message that is going to be coming up that will not be the best, and, and you're not going to be so happy about it, but you have to hear it. Um, Isa, Isa tells you that that message specifically is going to make, put you in a, a situation where you have to take a decision, and only you can make that decision. A. Watts tells you that don't fear this decision-making process because the universe has your back. And Fehu talks of abundance. It talks of abundance. Now, it talks of abundance spiritually for me. And it tells me that if you have a story that we mentioned before of a third party or a clandestine story, it's you can fool yourself by saying, no, it's just, we're just having sex. This is quite a karmic bond that is being experienced. So just think about that. Leo, think about that. Think about that. Think about that. I hope this was of help to you, Leo. And like and share my videos if you appreciate them. If you're here for the first time, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, let's go down to Virgo. 
Virgo, I'm so happy. Finally, let's get down to business, Virgo. Let's see what's in store for you, Virgo, for the second half of November. Virgo, what's in store for Virgo for the second half of November? What's in store for Virgo for the second half? Excuse me, November. What's in store for you, Virgo, for the second half of, of November? What's in store for you? For the second half of November. Okay, now we've got the Six of Swords. It's been very generous. The Six of Swords has been coming out. I think this is the fourth time it's come out. And the King of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the first time that has come out, the Eight of Cups. And we have the Empress. She has made a, a show before. I believe it was in the Aries reading. And then the Page of Cups. Let's listen. And I'm, I mean listen here. Virgo, you too may be involved with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I'm looking here to, you know, I, I'm, I'm hearing work. I'm hearing work, Virgo as if you're going to be partnering up with the person who you are starting to get emotionally involved with. And it's all you're doing in the sense, Virgo, whether you're a male or a female, I have here a very creative energy that is pushing you forward. And what attracts you to this venture, to this person, to this potential partner in crime, is precisely the fact that together you can make miracles create creatively. You have such positive energy when you're together that, um, that it's such a strong, powerful attraction. And this is on both sides, I'm seeing, on both sides. Um, you know, it's like, it's as if I'm, you know, the little fairies, the little fairies are coming and hitting you both on the head, ding, 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 and, think, and saying, look, this is love. This is how love starts. You know, and, and you are putting all of the energy into a work project, into a work endeavor. This is a, a, all about work, you're thinking. And the page tells you differently. Um, I'm going to take these three Vira Sibila, first of all, on the Eight of Cups and see what is that all about. This is Imeneo. This is the Intimacy card. Um, so speedy, sighing, and fedelta, fidelity. It does look to me as though the work idea is a cover. It definitely is a cover because, let me give you an example. All of a sudden you're waking up and you spend so much time in front of the mirror. You, you know, you go down to the very little details of what you're wearing, your rings, your ding, everything, the socks has to match. And you are sprucing yourself up like a new um, uh, Christmas tree. And this is just giving you that energy as if, you know, you think, I'm, oh, my God, I'm born again, you know. And this, too, is the attraction. This is part of the attraction that you're having for that person, uh, Virgo. It's really pleasant to see. And um, it's as if, you know, I'm just like childlike almost. Let me take a look at this Six of Swords and what that has to do in this reading. What is behind that Six of Swords? Yes, 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 yes. So we've got Dottore the Doctor. We've got Amore Love. And we've got Militare. Now, it looks like to me that this getting together with this person, there may, they may be a, a physician, you know, they may be a physician, but if they're not, um, the other person, I, it looks like to me that, how can I say, there's again here too, I'm seeing something that's hush hush. There's something that was on underneath the surface, right underneath the surface, and now the volcano is going to explode. This is, love is in the air, really, Virgo. Love is in the air. And let me say it again. Love is in the air, Virgo, for you. It is a, an extremely advantageous um, financial venture 
with this person precisely as i said before because of that ma magical energy that you have magical creative energy all right let's take a look i mean the financial situation fehu brightstave it is absolutely beautiful um Aiza talks about bringing together your creative energies to create something completely um unique unique again success i mean it does talk about success and bjork berkana is merck stave and what does that say it says that in this period of time 16 to 30th what will get off the ground will be the work side but not the emotional side but the work will be like a building this is invats like a building block for you very interesting very clear very interesting um virgo i'd be really happy to hear about that write to me you guys underneath the video <laughs> write to me underneath the video now let's go on to libra 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 where art thou libra let's see what's in store for libra for the second half of the month of November, the second half of the month of November, from the 16th to the 30th, from the 16th to the 30th, from the 16th to the 30th for Libra, from the 16th to the 30th Libra. Oh, whoa, all right, let's go. Libra, 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 Libra. Mm. Okay look i've got the page of cups a queen of coins the world card which is our focus a knight of swords and the hermit card look You've got two major arcana here out of five, the focus being on the world card. And unless you guys are traveling around the world, there is some important business here. But it contrasts that world with the hermit card and the page of cups as well. There are those of you out there, Libra, who are involved with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And uh, it looks like, well... Um, there may be those of you who are involved with a younger uh, air sign. Uh, like air signs are uh, the Gemini, Libra, like yourself, or Aquarius, either of these, but they come out to be younger. I'm going to take first off this Hermit card. Let's take a look at that, Libra. Okay, I've got... Um, Stanza, the room. This is um, superbia, vanity, and nemico, at the enemy. It looks like to me that you're hiding something and you're hiding. Um, I, you know, I, I'm trying, let me pull from under this deck another tarot because and i've got the eight of cups the eight of cups it looks like here that you are busy but there's something that you're keeping hidden and it has to do with communication to a third party but it's not the kind of triangle that i've been mentioning for other signs no this person it looks like there's, um, uh, looks like espionage to me, industrial espionage. There, it looks like to me uh, that you're involved with, um, with shady business or you're at, being asked to um, get intel from you, a friend of yours that will help a company improve their work. Now, okay, it looks like something from the movies, but what I'm looking here is that the communication um, involved is something that you cannot say no to. You've been asked, you owe this person a favor, and it's something that you can easily do, but your conscious is really giving you a run for your money. There's something here 
that you don't like about doing that. Let me go to this um, page of cups at the beginning, Libra. Yeah, okay. Page of cups, Libra. There's casa, the house, could be a business as well. This is the spiacere, the sadness. And we've got morte, the death. And it looks like to me that there is an issue at work that is, there's mirror here, there's a mirror here these two cards, the incoming and the outgoing card, that is putting you in a situation to help the company or maybe even your own business, but you will have to do something that you're just not happy about. Um, it does involve travel, but I, I really don't see you moving. I don't see you going. Let's take a look at that. Well, it does, actually. You don't. <laughs> Look, there is a viaggio. This is also trip. This is movement. But we've got Amalato, the ill one, and um, Deliranti, the delirious man. There is something that goes awry. You do not. You're supposed to be traveling, but you will not. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let me look at this queen of coins for you, Libra. Yeah, look, we're shady business. We've got um, leggerezza, the lightness of being. We've got allegria, happiness, and um, nemica. Now, when we have both the enemies, female enemy and, and the male enemy that comes out, it looks like you really are in a position to, um, to, to say a lot of white lies and uh, have to go around a situation to get information for uh, the improvement of your work. And it's not something that you like to do, Libra. Let me take the runes to see what they have to say. Well, this is on its side. A Watts, A Watts, don't worry. The difficulty is there, but you will not be upsetting your life and it will not turn, you know, back negatively to you. There is a um, um, Pedro and it's Merkstave and that tells me that you're worried because you don't know what the consequences will be like. Uh, but you're going to go through with it, Isa says, your own way. And it is a give and take. This is Gifu. What you, it, it's, an, it's a favor that you have to pay back, actually. I do hope this was of help to you, Libra. And like and share my videos if you appreciate them. And subscribe. I'd love that if this is the first time um, of, that you've been to my channel. Now, let's go on to... Ba -ba -ba -bum. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see what's involved here for you, Scorpio, for the period going from today, the 16th to the 30th of December, December to November. 16th to the 30th of November. 16th to the 30th of November. Scorpio, what's in store for Scorpio for the 16th to the 30th of November? Let's take a look. Okay, we've got the Two of Wands. We've got the Sun. The Page of Coins. The Five of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. All right, this is a complex situation Scorpio, quite a complex situation. Um, I, I, you have a sort of um, contention, a bone of contention with someone going on in this period, starting around this period, could have already started. And you don't know how to get out of it. You have a good idea, but you don't know how to get out of it. And you don't want to be the one that will um, remedy everything. You don't want to be the one. You want to come, you're willing to go halfway, but you don't want to be the one who says, oh, come on, let's talk again, or something like that. There's a situation that has been created, and you know that everyone, you know, the, the, the fault, the blame is never on one only person, and you accept the responsibility for your own um, uh, uh, doings. But I'm seeing that the contention, the bone of contention and facing the 
the sun here talks about the best solution is face-to-face -face communication. But that's not going to happen in this period. And the resolution to the issue is not going to be emerging because I'm looking at this five of uh, cups that's telling me that um, there's sadness on both sides, you know, on both parties' sides. And um, let me take a look at this. But towards the end of uh, the month, there'll, there's going to be a decision as to how to proceed. In your mind, even though you may not take initiative, let's see. All right, this five of cups yields fortuna, fortune. Nemico, the enemy, and Gelosia, jealousy. Look, um, let's, shall we say that there is the green-eyed monster, jealousy, that is there and is looming out there. And it always, I think this may be your downfall, that, that you know, that issue of, of thinking, if they're not with me, who are they with? What are they doing? I mean, it's a control. We all are controlling. All of us are controlling, some more than others. But there is a moment when you have to control the controlling, Scorpio. And I'm looking at the controlling side to your personality as also fueling the passion towards a certain person. And that ultimately is what is bring, will bring you face to face with them and want to perhaps not air out your laundry one to the other, but at least face them and passionately try to solve the problem. Not with words. I don't see um, words coming out. I don't see discussions. I don't see that as being, uh, um, as coming about in these two weeks period, two week period. I think it's about the energetic um, movements, dynamics that are going uh, on between you. And you just want to get the energy to be more in, in harmony one with the other in this period. But still, it's all in your head, it looks like. It's not something that's going to be on the table. I'm looking at this knight here, and I see the domestic domestico. I have here. Gran Consolazione, which looks like a win-win, and Casa, home, or business. But I'm looking here that um, you may, those of you who are looking for a place, you're going to start in this period, and towards the end of the month is when you're going to start putting pen to paper and see how much can I afford and where can I go. Let me start looking at places. That's going to happen. And I'm going to take a look here now at this um, page of coins. Yeah, all right. We've got uh, Amatrice, the lover. We have Donna Maritata, the married woman and mother. mother. And then we have Amica, which talks to Harmony. Now, it looks like to me, it really looks like to me that there's love no matter what. There is love. You're moving from a position of love, and we can count on that. It is the way, it is what you are stifling, Scorpio, that is not above board, that's not being presented clearly, that other people have difficulty with. The other party is having difficulty with. Let me show you the runes. Let me cast these runes and take a look. All right, Hagal Hagalas. It looks like there's um, a, a need here for thinking, soul searching, and understanding what the problem is and where the problem lies with you, with them, halfway, and what it is. We've got Tear here, and Tear does talk about success if and only if you're able to go within. It is a give and take with Gifu, and if you're able to enact, a beginning of give and take. It is a karmic bond that the karmic pattern will aid in bringing you once again together. This is uh, Bjork Burkana Brightstave. This is the beginning of an interesting um, bond and a change. Like we said, uh, there is that um, the consciousness is being changed with this 
um, this, this conjunction, uh, 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 this 19 to 23rd in the beginning in the celestial um, uh, scenes, the celestial interludes, go back and see that. But that is favoring a change of consciousness and the new moon, which sh allows you to see the bigger picture. And more so than any other sign, I'm looking at it here for you, Scorpio. I do hope this was of help to you. Do like and share my videos and subscribe if this is the first time you're visiting my channel. I'd love that. Now, let's go on to Sagittarius. Yippee, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Great to be finally reading for you, Sagittarius. Fellow fire sign, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's in store for Sagittarius for the month of November the second half, the 16th to the 30th. 16th to the 30th of November. Sagittarius, what's in store for you? Let's see. Oh, Lord, six has come out. Six have come out. Let's take a look. We've got here the Queen of Coins. Then we've got the Queen of Cups. All these ladies. And we've got the Six of Swords. This has been coming out for many signs. Then we have the Eight of Wands. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sagittarius, what is going on for you? The Four of Swords. It's like hurry up and wait with this Eight of Wands and Four of Swords right next to that. But this fifth, this other card fell out and it's probably an explanatory card the Five of Swords. Now it looks like to me that uh, something is bringing you to act very, very um, quickly, but there's a halt and you put it on hold because you're worried that you're going to make a similar mistake as you have in the past, Sagittarius. Look, there are um, many of you Sagittarians have um, relationships. You have something to do in this period with a water sign, Capric uh, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces, or with a uh, an Earth sign, Taurus, um, Taurus, Virgo, and uh, Capricorn. It looks like to me that um, you're being influenced by. Uh, on the job, let's talk about the workplace a moment. You're being influenced on the job. There are many of you who work in, in areas where it's preponderantly male. Let's say 90% of the people are males. And in that case, um, what I'm looking at is that there are nonetheless females on the job and they have and will have for you an important influence in the future. For those of you who are involved with those two signs in a romantic relationship, I'm looking at a situation where you are coming together so, so quickly, but the cards are telling you with that six of swords and the four of swords, wait, there's no need to rush, plan it. And I'm saying next year, not now, not December, not then, plan it a year ahead of time. Don't make the mistake you made in the past with another relationship that spiraled and then it snowballed. And the cards are very clear on this. It looks like for you, however, that you are the, the cat's meow. You are the favored child. You are a person who's being spotlighted on the job. Um, you have what it takes to, um, to go forward. You've probably made the decision. You've probably already have been offered something. I remember the first part of the, um, the month of, um, dis of, of November where I said you're going to be making a, uh, someone is going to give you an offer. And I have here for this, this drive forward and then halting, I have here the jealousy, jealousy, disgrazia, disgrace, and malinconia, it looks like they really are telling you if you have to make a decision and it involves either work or a relationship, hold off without losing their trust because it, you'll see that it is, or, or 
if you've been offered a position and you decide to go through the interviews, one, two, five, whatever it is, and you're offered a position, wait before you start because there's something else that you need to complete. And you're afraid of losing your trust where you are and you're just, you just don't want to come out as being uh, not trustworthy. And trust seems to be very important for you, Sagittarius, in this moment of time. I'm taking a look at uh, the, what was that situation that didn't go down? And why are you worried about that? The casa, the house, this is a workplace. Dispiacere, sadness, and stanza, information. This is um, communication. There is here, I believe, for many of you Sagittarians there, um, the offer was real and it did go well and you just love the place where you work now, but you have been offered something that you cannot refuse and that's creating sadness. It's as if, you know, many, it's a, it's a common element that people who have success in their myths, you know, they they have success holding out right in front of them that they fear taking that step and uh, as if they're going to be, um, deceiving you know the place where they are they've put in so much energy i'm going to take a look at these two um uh, women here the two queens and i'm looking at gran consolazione great consolation donna maritada the married woman or mother and um consolante sorpresa consoling surprise it looks like to me that you can confide in a female whether you're a male or female, you can confide with a female on the job and they will counsel you properly. I'm going to take the runes for you, Sagittarius. Whoop. And what do we've got? Oh, well, Therisats is underscoring the importance, Sagittarius, the importance of, for you of not rushing ahead. Pedro is Merck Stave. You will not be seeing the entire picture. And suffice it to say, please take this bit of counsel and have them wait for you. I have um, uh, the nameless, faceless rune weird is telling you that that it, it has to be on your terms, Sagittarius. Remember that you are in a position where you can call the shots and you should. Great. I hope this was of help to you, Sagittarians. And like or share my um, video if you appreciate them. And subscribe if you're here for the first time. I'd love that. I'd love that. Now, let's see. Who's up next? Who's on first? What's on second? Capricorn. 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 Let's see what's in store for Capricorn. Capricorn, we're coming up to your signs birth period. We're coming. We're coming. It's coming up to your sign's birth period. Let's see what's in store for you for the period 16 to 30. 16 to 30, Capricorn. 16 to 30. Let's see what's in store for you. 16 to 30. 16 to 30. Hmm, I'm going to take another under the deck. There's this tower that is here. Oh, wow, I need some help here. Look, all right, we've got the Two of Swords. Opens with the Two of Swords. Then we have the Queen of Wands. Then we've got here the tower. And when I took from under the deck, I've got the Ten of Wands. Six of Swords and the king of wands. Look, there definitely is a fire sign in your life. Could be a friend, could be a new a, a new partner or, or a partner. And um, that is the king and the queen of wands have come out. And this is a very strong indication of uh, the fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm looking at decisions that are being put before you. You cannot uh, shy away from making those decisions. And it looks like um, to me that they involve, they may even involve a person that you know, a fire sign that can counsel you. It looks like the decisions can 
um, you can ask for counsel uh, to these to a fire sign that you have a friend or a, a companion a family member and um, it involves with this tower here completely changing uprooting uprooting and if you think you've been on a roller coaster ride lately in the past few months wait it's still coming up and it looks like to me with this ten of wands Capricorn that this next move this next uprooting period is going to be the last with that ten of wands the decision you make now is going to be not final but it's going to be no more revolutionary changes the six of wands sorry the six of of swords right here does talk about moving and uh going to a place where there's major stability and where there is a, a beautiful atmosphere, a place where you are passionately tied to. Again, there are fire signs in uh, who are prominent for you in this period and you need to confide in them and interact with them so that they may help you if you have this tower situation, this uprooting, uh, such uprooting here. Let me take the two of swords and look at the decisions that are being made or that you face. I've got here Malinconia, Melancholy. I have Belvedere, Bright Future, Good Future and positive future and the lover it looks like to me the decisions do involve um it does involve your your emotional life as if you're you know you're being drawn to a place where your emotions are taught that are, your emotions are tied to um and not only that they do announce both sadness and happiness as if you'll be leaving something behind and you'll be gaining something for the better it's a this is a trying period for you a very trying period for you and by the time your birth period comes around your zodiac period comes around capricorn you're going to find that um this this whole situation is going to be done with it'll be over and you can relax but it's going to be a roller coaster ride up until then roller coaster ride up until then let me take a look at these um, cards here the tower and the ten of wands I've got Mercante the merchant I have communication with the um, with the stanza the room and I've got here um, Giovanni Fanciulla which is a virgin it looks like you're going to many of you will be going to a new job it's going to be a new job or you catch wind of the opportunity for you to start a new job. This is, you know, you're planting seeds. I see you planting seeds and not all of them are coming up roses. I'm afraid to say uh, Capricorn, but you're going to make the best of it because I see this, this uh, six of swords. Look, the six of swords, I thought I've got Vedovo, the widower, Conversazione, conversation, and Amica, which speaks to harmony, it looks like to me that friends that you have, and I say again, fire sign friends that you have, are going to be the person you can cry on, whose shoulder you can cry on. But it's also going to be um, a person that will help you restore a balance in your life because they mean so much to you. And it's a spiritual friendship. A very strong friendship Capricorn let me see okay let me turn these around turn these around Lagos Lagos don't worry smooth smelling <laughs> smooth sailing ladies and gentlemen Capricorn friends after the storm it will you know the Sun will shine you are the hard-headed Capricorn uh, that you know of your worst days that is going to serve you well however because this is a karmic pattern that you're enacting how many times have you been uprooted think how many times have you changed this is happening again and there's something underlying this to these these patterns that you have to learn um you this a watts is Merck's day this is not you're not you know you're jumping without a net you have no protection here but the abundance, spiritual abundance, is yours with Fehu. 
It's spiritual abundance. This tower and the change that it involves is going to bring you spiritual abundance. Manat's Merks, Dave, it will definitely be a chore, definitely be very difficult for you because you will be so sad because it involves leaving people behind as well. I do hope this was of help to you, Capricorn friends, and uh, good luck to you. Uh, like and share my videos if you appreciate them, and subscribe if you're here for the first time. I'd love that. Now, let's see what we have next, as if I didn't know. We've got Aquarius. Woo! I almost dropped all of my cards. And I'm using the Necromonium. Ne Necromon... Necro... Necronomicon. <laughs> That's what it's called. The Necronomicon. Necronomicon Tarot. A very wild deck. This is not a universal deck, but it's it's very interesting. It's like for the fall, when the leaves are falling. I like to use this deck because it reminds me of the fall. What's in store for Aquarius for the second half of November? What's in store for Aquarius for the second half of November? What's in store for Aquarius for the second half of November? Okay, look. We've got the Nine of Swords. This nightmarish Nine of Swords. Then we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. We have the King of Swords. This is you, Aquarius. This is the Focus card. The Ten of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Look, there are here some interesting um, energies that I see. The, both the incoming and the outgoing card are wildly um, contentious. We have this Nine of Swords that is always, always smacks of fear, uh, fear, and this Seven of Swords, which it also mirrors fear in terms of relations, interpersonal relations that you have with others. And um, as even though I see you as being the focus here, the um, King of Swords, there are these other two cards, other two fire cards, this Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. And the Ten, of course, is uh, the end of a cycle, an end of a difficult cycle, but still there's st some fight left. I'm going to first focus on the Nightmarish Nine of Swords. And what do I have? Jealousia, Jealousy. I've got Messaggero, Messenger, and Amalato, the ill one. Looks like to me that um, there are those of you Aquarians who have just come out of a break, uh, breakup in a relationship or fear breaking up a breakup that is heading your way. That too. I'm going to take a look at this Seven of Swords. And I've got here, first out is the Gran Consolazione, a beautiful card, the best in the deck here. The casa, which could be home or a business. And uh, Consolante Sorpresa, Consoling Surprise. It looks as though, all right, for those of you who are uh, the um, in the midst of a breakup, you will in the period be forcing yourself. I'm seeing this as, as forcing yourself to interact with others, to meet others, you know, to, to put yourself out there and meet others that are just not that important for you. But it is, you know, it's a, a strategy of survival, Aquarius. For those of you who do not have a breakup in the, your relationship, this has to do with your fear of not being up to task, up to the job, fearing being um, either, um, um, how do they say it, being laid off, being fired, being let go. There is an, a fundamental fear of your security here, mo emotional and or financial security. And what is um, interesting here is this page, sorry, this Knight of Wands, because it looks like to me that this fire sign, this Knight of Wands, is fundamental, is instrumental in this, in this fear that you have. 
I've got here um, uh, the, the Donna di Servizio, the housemaid. I have the Malinconia, Melancholy, and Costanza. It looks like, um, all right, for those of you who are enacting this on the job, it is a person who's younger than you, who, however, a fire sign, and who, however, uh, has the favor of management and is the new kid on the block or the new girl on the block, and they are doing a good job. And you are just starting to get a bit of self, losing your self-confidence, and that is instilling fear in you. But know that this Ten of Wands does announce the end of a cycle, of a negative cycle, so you'll be out of it by the end of the month. Let's take a look at the, the, whoop, the runes, hold on. Okay, there I am. Now, what happened to this rune? What, what was this rune? This is Otala, Otala. This is a, um, let's say that, well, let me show you both of these, Thurisats, Thurisats and Otala. It looks like the period is a key for you, a key period in understanding something fundamental of your nature, something um, you didn't think possible. You didn't think that you could experience such fear and that should teach you something, Aquarius. Also, I have this karmic pattern, Dayak, and it talks about you, one of your fears is, and I, you know, even if you're 20, I'm, I'm going to say it, growing old or growing out of sync with modernness. You know, if, if you're in IT, for example, they say that when you hit 30, that's it, you know, and you're, you're fearful in that. And, and there's something there having to do with the type of work you do or the type of work that you want to do that is, um, you're just starting to feel less self-confident. Now, there is um, A. Watts, and A. Watts tells you that, look, the period is difficult, you may, because of the fear you're experiencing, but the uh, universe has your back. Just relax, just relax. Fehu also is bright stave, and you do come into an abundant period, abundant spirituality wise, because towards the end of the month, say like the 26th, right around that new moon, after the new moon, you're going to start feeling the uplifting. Your load is going to be uplifted. And the runes are telling you look, this is Hagal, Hagalas. Um, don't waste time. Think. Start using, start doing some soul searching. This is going to be important for you in order for you to understand what were those fears based on. And Pedro Merckstave tell you, look, Aquarius, it's a moment where your intuition is at a low, very all-time low, and you can't count on your intuition. You're going to need to meditate, soul search, and understand what is it that's causing you all of those fears. I do hope this was of help to you, Aquarius. Like and share my videos if you appreciate them. And if you're here for the first time, never been to my channel or my website, take a look and subscribe. I'd love that. All right, now, wonderful, wonderful Pisces. I couldn't wait to get to you. Just couldn't wait to read for Pisces, yeah. My moon is in Pisces, that's why. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces friends, my intuitive friends, my highly intuitive friends, sensitive of the universe. Pisces, what's in store for you, Pisces, for the second half of the month of November? What's in store for you for the second half of the month of November? What's in store for you from the 16th to the 30th? Okay. Whoa. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. We've got the magician. How do you like that? magician and we've got the knight of cups we've got the ten of coins we have the four of swords and we've got the ten of swords now that fucking ten of swords <laughs> what the hell What's it there for? We were going around just perfectly and then that damn ten of swords. Excuse my French. Let's take a look at that. Look, 
Um, you enter the period, of course, with this beautiful uh, uh, manifestation here, the ability to manifest with that, with that, um, that magician. But it's mirroring this Ten of Swords as almost as if you don't know what to do with it. Um, you know, when they say, um, careful what you wish for, because you're going to get it. And here, there's a period, Pisces, this is a period where odd things are happening. All of a sudden, when there was harmony with the relationship, Pisces, it falls into a lack of harmony. Why? Because I'm not sure. I don't know. Is this what I want? There's something there I don't. So there's you're using your intuition to give you the information. I want to take a look here at, first of all, at this Ten of Swords, Pisces. Let me look at this Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. This is Nemica, the female enemy. This is Domestico, the house domestic. And this is Nemico, the male enemy. Look. All right, I'll say it. Both you and a person you are fond of, or we can call a significant other, maybe the relationship is not that strong, or maybe was, uh, starting, but both of you are turning your heads, looking elsewhere, and that is going to happen right around the beginning of December, the end of November. And it looks like, Pisces, you may even take go an about face saying, okay, I've had it, it's time to change. Time to change. New chapter, new book, new everything. But it comes out as the Ten of Swords. So, you know, these cards are telling you that you do, of course, if you feel like doing that, do it. But it's not the right move. It's not the right move. The opposite of that would be to face each other and discuss things. So let's take a look here because I have the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords talks about waiting. Let's ask, what is what do we have to wait for, Pisces? What are we waiting for? Hmm. All right, we've got Lettera, oh sorry, Messaggero, the messenger. We've got Fortuna, Fortune, and we've got the gifts, um, Pietra Preziose. Now, this looks like to me that they also announced, Pisces, that in the month of December, harmony will reign. But these two weeks are going to be distant from that person that was, you know, let's call them a significant other, partner, significant other, lover, could be anything in any, let's say, any degree of importance, but it has an affection to you. It could be someone even that you work with, but they're, they're, they have, they hold affection for you. Now, I'm looking at this, um, I want to look at the, um, the magician first with that Knight of Cups right after there. Yeah, look, I mean, look, I mean, they're so clear. Look, Denaro, this is the safe. This talks about an institution. This talks about a bond. This talks about marriage. Look, Donna Maritata, the mother with children, could be a married woman, but it's usually a very strong person, and I call her the Grand Dame. And this is the Gran Signore, the great man. This is a couple. This is a strong couple. The magician is there to tell you, Pisces, look, that's not going to change. Go and have your flings if you want, but that's not going to change. Time will pass, but you're going back there. Interesting. Let's take a look at the runes and see what they have to add. All right. Well, how, underscoring this period and, and just what I said is Manat's Merc safe saying that there is no contact with you two in this period for the time being, right over the Four of Swords. But Lagas Lagos, it's going to go by painlessly this period. No problem at all. As a matter of fact, you will be quite happy. This is Wunyo, joyful, very joyful and abundant. You're going to have a good time regardless. Look, the Hugh tree, Aljitz, is Merck's stave, and it tells you that 
there is no protection for you here. You will be worrying. You will be under trying to think why. It is again, am I, should I leave? And should, but that, like I said, there is this magician here. You'll be going back to that. I do have one, um, what is this? This is Thurisatz. It's Merkstave here. And it's the, telling you together with this Aljit Merkstave that these are pr matters of an emotional importance. Matters of an emotional importance, it's like a rite of passage that you have to go through. You need to go within and see what, how important, how emotionally important is this person for me, for my well-being. I do wish you luck, Pisces. I hope that this was of help for you. And good luck for those two weeks and have yourself a blast. I hope that um, this was of help. Do like and share my videos if you appreciate them and subscribe if you're here for the first time. I would love that. Let me go down and say goodbye to you and say namaste. And I will be back very shortly. I have a guest Then we'll be come going live in a little while. Um, and I'll try to get this up before then. Bye bye. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure. I'll be back soon. Bye bye.